Raza's retro here, and I hope everyone is remaining retro. Today, I just wanted to share a memory with Sean. Um, I think a couple weeks ago, I posted a short about uh, this wrestling tape here, uh, which was basically WrestleMania 1995. And uh, as the story goes, we, well, Sean had a friend uh, who would watch literally every uh, wrestling event. And he would uh, record them. Sometimes we would miss the pay-per-views, so he would record it for us to watch the following day. Uh, and in other cases, we didn't miss the pay-per-view. He would just record it because, you know, it's just something he liked doing. And um, essentially, you know, he would just uh, he would just give it he would just give it to us. The thing is, is that there's a lot more, and I just this is what I was able to I guess find. So I might just do a part two. But I just wanted to quickly share this one. I don't know what it is. It just says WW. So I, obviously I'm thinking it's a WWF. Uh, just not too sure what happened to the F over there. Um, this one I remember. Very special. We did see Starcade, But uh, he also got the his friend to record it so we can watch it again. Um, one of the most anticipated pay-per-views of all time. Just to end in a very big disappointment. Sting versus Hogan. The story was to have Sting take down the NWO. And uh, he did end up winning. But if you guys remember, it wasn't a clean victory. And there was a whole controversy there. I won't get into that. But um, still great memories there. WrestleMania 15. From what I see here. And uh, for those back in the day, I mean, you guys remember, this This was something a lot of people would do. This is very, very, uh, you know, 90-ish, maybe early 2000-ish, but definitely something very 90-ish. This is funny because we actually own this, Rumble in the Bronx. We actually have it on DVD and on VHS, but I think we got it on VHS a little later. So I think we got that first. Um, another great wrestling event. WCW World War Three, one of my favorite type of pay-per-views that WCW used to do. There used to be like three three rings, and it would be like a battle royale, Royal Rumble type of thing, where you'd have sixty wrestlers uh, all divided in the three rings, and uh, it was pretty fun to watch. A lot of good memories there. This one says WWF Backlash. Let me just see if I open it. If it gives a year, no, it doesn't. It simply says backlash, so not too sure what year that's from. This says WrestleMania. It's not. It's clearly not written well. Uh, WrestleMania 20. So we got that there. This I thought initially was a wrestling tape, but it isn't. It's an actual VHS. I just found it like that. Incredible Shaolin Thunder Kick. Ooh. Okay. Um, and then we have. Well, we have something here. Okay, it's just a tape, um, but there's no marking, so I really don't know what that is. And we have another one. The marking is here. Survivor Series 1996 and 1997. So I think for this one, uh, they recorded Survivor Series 1996 and then 1997 and put it in one. I'm not too sure. It's a shame because I don't have a VHS anymore, so I wouldn't be able to actually check these out. I'm sure more than half don't even work, but um, just wanted to share that, guys, with you. Uh, memory of Sean, I, like I said, um, I had something recorded. Uh, I posted, rather, excuse me, a short prior uh, not too long ago talking about this, and uh, I said to myself, okay, if I could find some, I'll definitely make a quick video. If I find some more, and that's the key word is if, um, you know, then uh, I'll do a part two. But I just wanted to share this because I'm sure a lot of people in the 90s growing up did this. I mean, a lot of people where I grew up were doing this. So is this something that you did? Did you have friends, you know, pre-record wrestling events or, or, or anything? I remember, um, if I can find it, my sister recorded a hockey game for me. Uh, it was a special one. It was a Heritage Classic, which, uh, I, which I missed, unfortunately, at the time. I know people would also record their favorite shows. If they were gone or if uh, they had to step out. So if you do have any memories of, you know, recording stuff on the classic VHSs, then do let me know. Just wanted to share that memory. I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is happy. 
more importantly, I hope everyone is remaining retro. And remember, life is like a game. You decide how you want to play it. All you got to do, well, it's tangled up, but you get it. Is you just got to hit that start button. All right. Take it easy. God bless. And always be cool.